Hey everybody, I just wanted to take this opportunity to show off this extra cool knife. This is the uh, Bastinelli Knives Red folder, and uh, it's on loan to me from my friend Ian Lewis, who's a martial arts uh, phenom. He's a teacher of mine and uh, just a friend and a, and a, and a stout-hearted fellow. And he's got a small uh, Bastinelli Knives collection, and uh, this is his everyday carry knife. Now, he... He damaged the tip ever so slightly and uh, asked me to, to tweak it and, and make it right. So this was the perfect opportunity for me to make this my EDC this week, and I have fallen in love with it. It is a fantastic knife. Designed by Bastien Coves. Uh, um, I believe he's French. Uh, I know he speaks French. He's a, a knife maker that makes uh, very tactical knives. They're this, of course, could be used uh, for EDC purposes and such, but all of his designs are combative in in uh, in design designated utility. And uh, this thing is uh, really, it's been a pleasure to carry. Thank you, Ian. Uh, as I have said, uh, the, the expression, possession is nine-tenths of the law, keeps popping into my head. Uh, I've had it for a week. Maybe it's mine now? Uh, just kidding. I don't want to lose that friend. So uh, this knife is produced by Lion Steel. Oh boy. Let me see. Can we see in there? Lion Steel. There, right down in in that uh, in the blade well. It's got D2 steel. It's made in Italy, the land of high style and super craftsmanship. Uh, I'm not biased at all with Demarco as a last name. Um, this knife rounds out my opinion of lion steel. I've only hefted one other lion steel knife, the SR11, uh, that another buddy of mine has, and uh, I found that to be an amazing knife, just in fit and finish and feel the whole nine yards. And they took this Bastien Coves Bastinelli knife uh, uh, design and just uh, knocked it out of the park with their with their manufacturing. Uh, the knife, as I mentioned, is D2 steel, and this is a contour G10. It's quite beautifully contoured, and uh, on the show on the uh, lock side, it's titanium, and uh, it's hollowed out inside here. Oh wait, I take that back. I thought it was hollowed out. It feels really light, so I, I made that assumption. Um, and it's on IKBS, so it is drop shutty, and just has incredible, incredible uh, deployment. Um, just a slight nudge on the thumb stud, boom, rockets out. So carrying this knife over the past week, I've fallen uh, fallen for it so hard that I just was on Amazon and located a used version of the knife I've always kind of lusted after, the Bastinelli knife, uh, lion steel produced knife I've always lusted after, which is the uh, the Dragotac. So I have one of those coming, and I can't wait to check it out. Hopefully it's as great as this one is. Um, let me talk about the ergonomics of this thing. It looks kind of odd at first glance, but <laughs> it's as if it was made for my medium-sized hand. And uh, my buddy Ian has large uh, sausage hands, sausage finger hands, and uh, his hands fit beautifully on this too, as he's told me. So I think this is just universally ergonomic feels great in this grip you can you can come back here kind of like a saber grip and it's got this little notch cut out for your thumb you can come up here in a Filipino grip and really bear down on these uh, on the jimping here and it feels incredibly comfortable and uh, you'll notice it's got a, a crowned spine which is kind of a classy sort of uh, there we go sort of a classy lion steel detail I think they do that with pretty much all their knives and that makes it feel very comfortable. So in saber grip and in Filipino grip, this thing shines. But in reverse grip, oh my lord, it's 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 like an extra finger. <laughs> it's an extension of the hand. Uh, fits so beautifully that uh, I don't know. I'm considering buying this knife too. Uh, not that I find myself using knives in this grip often or at all unless I'm just messing around but it just feels right so here you have this deep carry pocket clip 
that you can... I'm not sure if you can switch it to the other side. I don't see why you couldn't. Looks like it's uh, got accommodations for that. But the little shelf uh, that protrudes out to uh, to give the clip enough clearance to have like tactical pants and such adds a little shelf for your thumb. So it's a great place to put your thumb so that you don't have to put it on this awesome uh, glass breaker here. But even if you did, the glass breaker is in such a place that it fits right uh, in that little nook, in this little uh, seam between metatarsals, and just fits fits nicely. So this knife, ergonomically, is a dream. Uh, so don't let that stop you. The one thing about this knife that uh, might be a uh, might be a deal breaker for some is that it's D2 steel, but it's quite expensive. But really, what you're paying for is the design. The design and the, and the small production numbers of this knife. Um, and to me, it's worth it. Uh, D2 is a fine, fine steel. You can get a super sharp edge on it. This knife is, uh, this blade is quite thin, the blade stock, and it's full flat, fully flat ground so that behind the edge it's super thin. Uh, Bastien Coves put a, a special edge on this for, for Ian. And uh, it's even more acute and more, I mean, yes, more acute and more keen than I think you would get from the factory, uh, granted, but it's a, it's a very, it would make a very good utility knife. Um, where was I going with that? Oh, the D2 steel. Yeah, so for the price tag of, what, I think it's 250 or 275 some people might balk because it's D2, but I would, I would say, you know, if you like the knife, it's, it's well worth it. Uh, if you're gonna if you're gonna cheese out about the D2, I get it, I get it. You want to think that you're getting more for your money, like with M390 or 20 CV or a steel like that. I I know I've been there and I go there quite frequently, but truthfully, I'm never pushing steel to the to the limit anyway. I've never pushed D2 to the limit. I've never really pushed 8 CR13 to the limit. Yes, I've dulled it, but I've never found myself in desperate need for more edge because I'm dealing with uh, 8CR13 MOV. So I would say if you like the knife, you like the design, you like Lion Steel products, uh, this is a fantastic, fantastic choice. This deep carry pocket clip is nice and deep carry. It could be the possible one hotspot on the otherwise amazing ergonomics. As you can see, it rides very close to the edge here. I wasn't sure if maybe... Uh, my buddy had tweaked it, but uh, upon looking at it, it just looks like that's how it's designed. And if you're holding it like this, it nestles into that fold of your hand pretty nicely. Uh, but it is the one thing. I wouldn't mind it uh, coming up a little bit more at an angle like this. But it does allow the knife to sit in your pocket uh, in, a, in a very nice way so that this is following the seam here. Super stout. I mean, the lockup is incredibly stout. Oh, wait, there is one other hot spot. And if this were my knife, I would take care of this. Right here. Right here on the cutout. It's a little sharp right here. So if this were mine, I would take a little emery board, because I'm always filing my nails. Just kidding. I would take a little piece of sandpaper and uh, hit it right there, and it, it might make it a little, uh, a little less sharp. But definitely not a deal breaker for me. Um, it's got an ample, ample lanyard hole, and uh, let's see, let's see what it compares to. So, this is a three and a half inch blade, and overall it's about eight inches. I don't get too, uh, too uptight with the, with the measurements. Maybe I should. Okay, here, we'll, 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 we'll put down the ubiquitous paramilitary two, just so you have an idea. Most people understand well, this this is about the same size, actually. Most people understand how this compares to most knives because most reviewers use this knife as a review knife, um, or as a knife comparison knife. Uh, so here it is with a, what is this, 630. The Emerson-designed uh, ZT630. If you notice, the blade isn't that much longer, but the handle here being straight uh, is quite a bit longer than the red folder. Again, with that curved handle, you get the blade presented at a slight angle so that when you're cutting into things, uh, it accelerates the cut. Uh, but here's another great tactical knife. I have a, um, 
a uh, canvas micarta scale on here from Sharp Dress Knives, who make a damn good micarta scale. That's next to that. Let's see. Another uh, ubiquitous tactical knife is the Recon One. Oh, fingerprints. So sorry. This is a brand new Recon One that I got uh, in S35VN to A, replace the one that was stolen from my car. It was Aus 8. So that sucker made out with a with a sucky steel. I'm just kidding. Uh, so this is to replace that. And also, I'm going to put the new uh, Snaggletooth MF uh, cog ring on it. Try it out. And let's see, one more knife to compare it to. Kind of in the same ballpark. The Emerson Knives Sax. Again, a, a straighter and longer knife, but essentially the same size blade. And I guess this has a little bit on it. Um, but these are all handy tactical knives that that might compare nicely to the red folder. Now, red is capital R, period, capital E, period, capital D, period, and I believe it stands for Raptor Extra Dangerous. I think it's Raptor Extra Dangerous, which to me kind of kind of puts a smile on my face and makes me giggle. And it also um, it also lets me know that the man who designed this might not be a uh, a, a native English speaker, but I love his imagination. Raptor extra dangerous. Because I'll tell you what, in the right hands, like Ian Lewis, this is a Raptor extra dangerous. Let me get these suckers out of the way. All right, I just wanted to give you a quick look at this knife before I return it tomorrow night when I see Ian. And I think I'm going to have... Uh, I think I'm going to have some postpartum depression getting rid of this sucker, because uh, I'll tell you, it's pretty darn sweet. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.